In Proverbs chapter 14, verse 15, it says, The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going. Now, the Greek word used for simple is pethi. It means naive, simple, foolish. These are the specialty of Julie Green. This is who she preys on. The naive and foolish people, simple-minded, gullible, who will believe anything that comes out of her mouth. So today, Julie Green put out a video. You can see the titles, Many Prophecies Fulfilled. We're going to listen to a clip and we're going to comment. This is from the prophecy of, um, from October 31st of 2022. Your enemy's plans will not succeed against this nation. That's the name of the prophecy. Keep your eyes on the East Coast. Something significant is about to take place and you will know it as soon as you see it. Now, as you all know, we will have more prophecy fulfillment on that more likely next week. I'll make sure that they do that. But what happened in the skies above uh, the East Coast, United States of America? Well, it was that uh, Chinese spy balloon was uh, destroyed over the skies. It was like right off the East Coast of South Carolina. Now, I've taken the liberty and I've typed this out word for word what her prophecy was. Your enemy's plans will not succeed against this nation. Keep your eyes on the East Coast. Something significant is about to take place, and you'll know it when you see it. Julie Green calls this a prophecy fulfilled having to do with the Chinese spy balloon. This is shockingly absurd. As we read her alleged prophecy, there is nothing about a balloon, about China, about anything getting shot down. Nothing. This is the very definition of vague. And, and, and it absolutely breaks my skull when I think of how anyone could believe this woman, that this is not only a prophecy, but as she says, a prophecy fulfilled. This is what Julie Green wants you to believe. As she said, God is speaking through her, through her initial alleged prophecy. From Maine all the way down, this is the East Coast. Let's say all the way down to the Keys. It's, it's a little under 2,000 miles. And she wants you to believe that God Almighty spoke through her, telling anyone who would listen to her, Thus saith the Lord, keep your eyes on the East Coast. Something is going to happen very soon. I'm paraphrasing what she said. Something is going to happen on the East Coast soon. It's just crazy. And, and, and then, in the absolute midst of her vagueness, she's the one that is privileged to come forth on a follow-up video and tell you, yup, this was the event, the Chinese spy balloon. This was it. This was prophecy fulfilled. Again, having said nothing about a balloon or China or it being shot down, Never mind the fact that it absolutely came all the way. I think they spotted it originally over Montana. Nothing about that traveling over the United States to, to get to the East Coast. This is what she wants her gullible believers to believe. Uh, I'm sorry, her gullible followers to believe. And guess what? They do. They cry, oh, this is amazing prophecy fulfilled. You know, we live in a day and age where knowledge is at peak potential, technology is amazingly advanced, and lessons of past deceptions and scams, well, you think all that would be behind us, but it's not, is it? It's actually gotten worse. 
I have this picture up because this is what I think of when I imagine the Julie Green followers watching her prophecy videos. They're all under a heavy magical spell, aren't they? And they don't want to be freed from it. They're absolutely mesmerized in truth doesn't matter when it comes to whatever Julie Green says. I'm going to give you an example. I would argue that Julie Green and these other false prophets, they're actually worse than psychics. Now, I'm not condoning that anybody go to a psychic. In fact, stay away from them. This serves only as an example. If somebody did go to a psychic and they paid the psychic 200 bucks and they said, let me hear my future. And the psychic answered them and said, well, here we go. Something significant is going to happen in your neighborhood very soon, and you'll know it when you see it. You think that uh, paying customers going to be satisfied with that? Of course not. It's ridiculous. But think of the reality of people that listen to Julie Green, specifically this example having to do with this vague prophecy in the spy balloon. And they hear this and they get all tickled inside. They think they're watching a genuine prophet. And they will absolutely break out the checkbook, break out the credit cards, the debit cards, and they will shower Julie Green with money for this. Why? I don't know. It's absolutely crazy. But there it is. That's the reality of what's happening. Now, as I close this video, I want you to consider one more thing. This alleged prophecy here. How did this help your faith? How did this benefit you when it came to your relationship with Jesus Christ? What does this do? Well, the answer is nothing. It does absolutely nothing. It has nothing to do with Jesus Christ and him crucified. A balloon being shot down, which by the way, this is not that prophecy. It has no value or meaning to your walk with Jesus Christ or even sharing the true gospel with somebody or anybody else. It's meaningless. Just please consider that when you are listening to these alleged prophets. Most of what they say benefits you in no way, shape, or form. Nothing. She really ought to pack it in. Listen to what she said for Sagittarius. She goes, you're going to be faced with a difficult decision today. But the thing is, is, is we're all faced with difficult decisions every day. That's like saying you're going to eat today. Yeah, maybe by leaving her, her predictions vague and generalized, there's uh, less of a chance of someone finding out she's a phony.